snugly set between Luzon and Palawan is Mindoro, the backpacker slash hiker slash diver slash beach bum slash foodies dream island. Most of the action for travelers you'll find in on the northeastern tip of the island where there's fantastic diving, chilled out beach bars, and a variety of upscale and laid back accommodation. Move inland and you'll find MT Alcone and MT Baco destinations for avid hikers. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in Mindoro so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, Porta Galera. Porta Galera is a popular little beach town on Mindoro where you'll find the best of both worlds. For you busy bodies, this vacation destination has lots of food, entertainment, and activities. There is both incredible western food and super cheap Filipino eats. You'll also find a golf course, karaoke spot, and plenty of tour kiosks selling day trips. It's a popular spot for both westerns and locals where a comfortable medium is met. For the wildlife lovers, you'll be pleased to learn that the nature here is spectacular. There is a sublime white sand beach, hidden waterfall via a forest trail, and marine life waiting to be explored. At number 9 is the Pebble Beach. The name doesn't lie. Pebble Beach offers you something outside the realm of soft white sand. Instead, it provides smooth pebbles that give your feet a massage with every step. This crescent-shaped beach is a popular spot for locals to come and have a picnic in the private huts for rent, or to sing karaoke on Saturday and Sunday, feel free to join in. As with many popular Filipino spots, there's a religious shrine to the Virgin Mary which gives your camera a break from the tough job of capturing exquisite scenery and fascinating wildlife. At number 8, Sabang. Located at the end of the Verde Island Passage is the magnificent area of Sabang. The small district of Sabang is home to three beaches, Sabang Beach, Small La Laguna Beach, and Big La Laguna Beach. They are all connected but each have very different vibes and offer different activities. Sabang Beach is the party beach. Here you will find lively bars, lots of alcohol, and to put it nicely many ladies of the night. Small La Laguna Beach offers a collection of seaside hotels and resorts. Big La Laguna Beach is the place to go for pristine swimming and sun bathing as it offers the cleanest water and more tranquility than the others. At number 7, Tamaral Waterfalls. These superb falls located in the Barangay Villa floor near the city of San Teodoro of Mindoro Island are absolutely worth a visit. Tamaral waterfalls are picture-perfect and embody exactly what you hope a waterfall would look like. Set deep in the jungle, these falls cascade down 423 feet of rock, twisting, winding, and falling into a couple sets of cool pools. The falls come down in such a rage that the sound is beautifully overpowering. To get there, you can take a jeepney, hire a tricycle, rent a motorbike, or if there are enough of you, hire a private van. At number 6 in our list, Talapanan Beach. A perfect sandy beach next to turquoise water and surrounded by large rock faces and stunning greenery, does it get any better than Talapanan Beach? This beach is much more calm than the others. Its small size means there isn't an abundance in entertainment or bars. You will, however, find a quaint Italian restaurant with fabulous service and an ideal view. This is the perfect place to bring your kids to play with pebbles along the shore or to come and get some peace and quiet for yourself. At number 5, Apo Reef Natural Park. The largest coral reef system in the Philippines and located off the shores of Mindoro. This 34 square kilometer stretch of reef is protected by the government, which means no large ships coming in and out damage the coral or disturb the wildlife. By this regard, you can imagine that Apo Reef makes for a spectacular snorkel spot and is also a beloved dive site in the country. 
Here you will see the most abundant collection of wildlife which, you might not see elsewhere including the giant Napoleon wrasse fish, lots of sea cucumbers, a cushion star, and more. Just watch out for the trigger fish who like to chase you away from their nests. At number 4, Mount Alcone. 2,586 meters high, MT Alcone is an impressive sight to be seen in Mindoro. While it may only be the 18th highest peak in the Philippines, it still offers quite a challenge for hikers and climbers. The trails are steep with rocky ridges, intense slopes, mossy forests, and pristine river crossings. To hike this mountain, you'll need at least four days, a permit, and a guide. You can find tour companies in the area to set you up or do a quick search online. At number 3 in our list, Pandan Island. A mixture between a deserted island and luxury comfort, Pandan Island Resort is where you come to get away from it all. Pandan Island is a private island resort established by a French man with a passion for peace. You'll find plenty of hammocks, tropical huts, and fruity drinks, but what you won't find is electricity, fans, or nightlife. There are solar batteries if you need to charge. When you stay on this dreamlike island, you'll spend your days wandering the sandy paths, sitting down for beer, playing beach volleyball with new friends, and kayaking to a nearby jungle river. At number 2, White Beach. On the coast, just west of Porta Galera, is White Beach. As this beach is tucked away from the tourist path, you can expect an area catered more towards Filipinos than Westerners. This means you'll get a totally different experience outside of Aussie bars and booze buckets. It's a welcome change of pace. This beach offers the perfect conditions for swimming and lying out in the sun. There are cute little resto bars lining the beach where you can grab a bite to eat with your toes in the sand. Check out the number one places in our list, Bikini Floating Bar. What's better than a bar next to the water? A bar on the water, of course. This floating houseboat has been converted into a vacationer's dream bar. To get there, hop on a small dingy for free. The driver will sail you to alcohol heaven where you can sit with a reclined chair looking out onto the water while the waves gently rocks the boat side to side. You'll enjoy a colorful view of the mainland with brightly painted houses nestled into the greenery. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Mindoro. Is there something we missed let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.